Hey everybody, welcome to Circle of the Blind Mice, where we are low on vision but high in tech. Back again with another video, and I have discovered something very, very interesting, and I admit it was actually completely by accident. So those of you familiar with the screen curtain feature on iOS will know that all the references say to do a triple three finger tap. If you, however, have voiceover and Zoom enabled at the same time, the number of taps changes. And just to show you that I am not crazy, I will actually show you both ways coming right up. Okay, so we're on my iPad now, but before I get into the two ways in which you can enable and disable screen curtain on your iOS device, just a quick note for those who are new to this feature. Screen curtain is an accessibility feature that allows us as blind and legally blind users the ability to completely black out our screen while retaining touchscreen functionality and using voiceover to guide us through our screen. This serves as two purposes. Number one, if you're blind or very, very low vision to the point where you really have no need for your screen anyway, this will save you huge battery life because screen brightness uses a ton of battery life on your phone or tablet. The second benefit is for those of us who are legally blind and partially sighted and use Zoom or very large prints that a sighted person could read from several feet away. This is a huge privacy feature. The usual way to activate screen curtain is through a three finger triple tap like this. Screen curtain on. Screen curtain off. However, I discovered quite by accident that if you're a Zoom user, triple tap will do something completely different if you have Zoom and voiceover simultaneously enabled. Settings. So I'll turn zoom on. Zoom off. On. Zoom on. Okay, so we got zoom on. Settings. Now watch what triple tap does. Speech off. Speech on. So I was perplexed. At first I thought that Apple changed things up maybe in iOS 9 because all the references I was finding referenced the triple tap. So I started playing around a bit and I discovered that while I had Zoom on, and at this point I still hadn't connected the dots, I just, all I knew was that triple tap wasn't working for me. So I started playing around with different number of tabs and I discovered that a quadruple tap, so tapping four times actually works in this case. Screen curtain on. Screen curtain off. So if you've got Zoom enabled, you've got to use quadruple tap while voiceover is running and Zoom is running in order for screen curtain to work. It wasn't until I had a great conversation with some other visually impaired users on Facebook who were also using the latest version of iOS that I realized the differing factor here was Zoom. So if you're not a Zoom user, None of this applies, you can still use triple tap. But if you are a Zoom user, you'll want to use the quadruple tap if you've got Zoom and voiceover running simultaneously. So hooray for accidental discoveries because I completely found this out by accident. I haven't found, I haven't, I've yet to find anywhere else referencing this online. So I thought I would share it with you. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you're having an awesome Easter weekend and I will talk to you in the next video. Here at Circle of the Blind Mice are bringing these videos because I believe technology enriches the lives of those of us with visual impairments. My mission is to help you learn tech, use tech, and embrace tech. Please share this video to help spread the word to your fellow blind mice. And if you're new here, please subscribe for new videos every Saturday. Thanks for watching.